just like the wild in cars, life comes full circle. The Range Rover came back to me. Back in 2006 when I worked for West Coast Customs, uh, this was one of the big bills that we were doing for the Middle East. This was for the royal family, taking the stock Range Rover and making a sporty two-door out of it instead of a four-door. Uh, this car has been floating around the Middle East for the last uh, five years and it just happened to show up to my door yesterday. So uh, as you can see the state of it now, it just needs um, a little revamp. Uh, first big issue right now is uh, the passenger door window is broken. Uh, there's, some, there's a lot of issues with the interior. This har the harsh desert sun here just really uh, takes a toll on the interior, the leather. So uh, I think we'll have to refreshen up the inside of it. Of course, scratches, little dents, marks on the outside, and a couple of other issues as far as uh, water leaking. So, so uh, I mean, the list will go on for a little bit longer. I still have to go through it since I didn't, I just uh, received the car last night. Are you sad to see it in this, this condition? Because oh, you, uh, you did a lot, well, how much work did you do on this in, in America? Uh, back in the U.S. when we started building this car, um, I was doing a lot of the sheet metal, the original design of the bonnet, or hood, um, the bumpers I built, uh, some of the uh, complete welding, sheet metal, aluminum doors, you know, stretching the doors, I did a lot of the work on. But it was a whole team of guys who actually built the car. Are you sad to say it in this condition? Yeah, I think it was, uh, you know, the price of this car, somebody should have took better care of it. But um, uh, knowing the region, it, it's, it's not uncommon to have something very special and unique and just use it for its fullest and then go on to the next, the next toy. Uh, I wouldn't mind keeping it because it's something unique and uh, nobody else has, but unfortunately the people who own it now still want a hefty price tag for it. I think there's been a few changes on it. Somebody's replaced the glass on the, uh, all the way around. It used to have uh, a Lamborghini style doors that, that swung open and flipped up. Um, they just put back the conventional doors. Um, and some of the body work has changed. The wheels have changed. Um, as I'm sure there's a few other things. I, I haven't really started checking off the list. And, and plus, you know, I'm getting older. My memory doesn't, doesn't work as good as it used to. So I don't, that was uh, five years ago, six years ago when we built the car. So I'll have to go back in my computer and look at pictures of, of it when we were building it when it was finished to, uh, to uh, compare it to till now. Oddly enough, I was driving in the industrial area of Dubai and this was just sitting in a parking lot of the workshop, just getting covered with dirt. So I'm the one who, who uh, made the initiative, initiative to, to uh, get a hold of the owners and tell them, like, I was one of the original builders, if you need help putting it back together. And, and yesterday I ended up showing up at my workshop, so. But I think it still looks pretty good. Still unique, still different. I'm sure when you drive it, people still stare, so. The, the owners of it, will, I, I think they'll be glad for me to help them out and straighten out some of the problems. Now, I'm going to work because it's hot out here. <laughs>